Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of M Crater Lore. So today, I was, I'm a little bit, com like, I was trying to get the, the procedure thing working over the, or not procedure, the, um, I guess it's like procedurally generated structures over the course of the weekend, and like, over Wednesday and stuff like that, and I couldn't seem to get it working. Uh, there was always some sort of issue with it, so I decided to start making some actual structures. Um, I wanted to build at least one structure today, and then we're going to be putting as much detail as we can into it, and hopefully um, by the time <laughs> that this video goes out, uh, I'll have a whole bunch more bugs um, with the mod fixed and stuff like that. There's quite a few of them that I fixed yesterday, um, mainly around the bushes that or the shrubs that we made. There was a whole bunch of mechanic stuff broken and um i needed to fix that um there was like you wouldn't be able to right click on it i think it was partly due to uh the update with m creator i'm not sure if it's on m creator side or not but um it was I, I narrowed it down to it being uh related to tags uh for the uh, for testing for the placement condition and then there was a few other ones that I, I fixed as well there was grass seeds that um, would drop with the regular or the custom grass tall grass so there was a few other things as well like for example the generation there was a lot of things not generating uh, thanks to someone else um, person on the M crater team he was able to help me get the underwater stuff generating through features so I was able to get that. Hopefully there will be a template in the near future for you guys. So if not, then I'll make sure to provide the um, thing on the uh, example workspace. I'll just label it as a feature or something like that. But all right. So yeah, basically I've just been working on getting the um, thing all set up. So I wanted to get the planks and stuff, things like the interior foundation uh, made so we can start working on uh, the other things and then I wanted to work on the fireplace so I could get the um, what do you call it the uh, because we have a similar fireplace in the other building I thought keeping it consistent might be a good idea and just adding a couple things like that really makes the difference and I wanted to put a couple things like that and then bring it out through the top of the roof here uh, that should give us a, enough room to um, actually place the stairs and stuff. So that's the reason why I was doing that. I'm just filling in the roof at the moment so we could um, start working on the roof part. And I wanted to see if I can't fit a, another window in there, and I think I can. So I'll do that, and then we're going to see what we can do with this part. Like, I wanted it to kind of um, be... Uh, kind of like a high extended roof. I know it's not great for storage or anything like that, but it does make it look a little bit nicer when you have an extended roof. So I was going to put some of these logs uh, like that, and then I could basically fill in this part, and then that just leaves the um, that part there. So basically the other thing that I've been trying to do with these builds is something a little bit different uh, than my normal building style, and that's to kind of give it a rounded um, grass platform. So hopefully with my idea with this is it will blend with the terrain a little bit better. Um, I'm not sure if this will be the case or whatnot, but it gives us a little bit of a padding around the actual structure and regardless, so we'll be able to um, have a little bit more extra room. And because it is kind of uh, rounded, Hopefully it will go with the generation really nicely. So that's at least the plan uh, for the moment. I'm not sure if it will work or not, but uh, we can always give it a try. So I was been working on the path here for the front of the building and then we can go ahead and put the other part here. Uh, one of the other issues that I had with the um, uh, mod was mostly generation issues. I did fix the overgrowth for the um, berries as well. Or not berries, the um, shrubs. <laughs> I think berries when I say shrubs. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so the shrubs uh, now are capped at a certain growth length. So finally fixed that. It's been an issue for quite a while. And it took me a while uh, yesterday to actually figure it out. 
um, what was going on and a way to fix it. So uh, that should be more stable now. And uh, another thing that I won't be able to show today, but um, I did work on some better cliff generation. I did a sneak peek on the community tab uh, for YouTube on this channel of what I was working on and I did get, manage to get it a l more stable so it was um, less performance taking when it's generating so chunks load a little bit faster. They're still a little bit slow for my need, like for my liking, but um, it just is. I mean, I, I, it looks good for the way it is, it's just it needs better system I think and Minecraft far as I can tell doesn't have proper support for something that advanced and it would probably have to be hand coded anyways if it was so um, it's just something that I'll have to try to work with but I did get it quite optimized the best as I could so I could um, make it a l the biomes look a little bit more nicer and yeah, so I'm just basically filling in the windows and doors at the moment. And um, need to figure out, we still need a texture for that door too, uh, that I noticed we will need to create one because it's just at the bottom of the door at the moment, which is a little bit hard to notice. So I think we need recipes for a lot of these things as well. We definitely have, um, a lot more blocks than recipes, uh, when I, one of the other things that I actually did over the weekend was uh, sort the workspace so everything's organized now into proper folders and stuff like that. So um, it will be easier for me to work on the mod and know where everything is. And yeah, just doing interior work now. So I'm just fixing up the roofs and tidying this up and making sure that uh, the roofs kind of you know kind of blend in a little bit more so I did the top part up here as well put some molding in and brought this down to the fireplace part right here so it looks pretty good on the interior now I'm pretty happy with that we just need to get some furniture in here and the campfire actually has a well it, the fire pit has a campfire so you'll be able to cook some stuff we'll probably end up um, making our own stuff later on but um, that's like a really advanced thing I need to figure out how they actually got the smoke to generate like that um, I'm sure I can figure it out over time but it'll just be a thing that I need to figure out and now I'm on to basically adding furniture and stuff so I wanted to get a bed in here um, these will be kind of like buildings that people can kind of take refuge in uh, during the nights and stuff like that because you have to think that when you go to this bio, this dimension you're actually going to be killing a witch so you might not be prepared so it's not like you'll be carrying a bed or anything around either right so I wanted to make sure that there's a few different things around so you'll be able to um, get some resources like a bed the, the main fun fundamental things uh, for all the things we might you have different color beds per biome so depending on different things that are available in the biome I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping the brown beds but they'd go well with this particular design and I, I was just working on getting the grass in now so I could basically go ahead and um, oh that's another thing that I fixed uh, the grass seeds now drop rice seeds so not wheat seeds so that's another feature that I worked on and a uh, long time bug actually because uh, we had um, used wheat seeds initially because we didn't have any other seeds to put in so I fixed that up quickly through the uh, loot table so and I'm just going back and forth with the actual um, different grass types and I'm just trying to decorate it a little bit more just a little bit not so noticeable but enough where it will give some like different colors and stuff so the other thing that I wanted to add was some flowers we'll go ahead and add uh, some of the ones that we added in that particular biome and I'll add some leaves I think I replaced them with bushes after I fixed the issue though so the flowered bushes I ended up adding and I'm just testing some other stuff out with the buttons the wooden buttons that I made 
I wanted to see if this would actually work and I thought maybe like having beams that came across like that would look really cool and you know that wouldn't be a totally bad idea to create some inner beams that you could uh, place that were like for buttons and stuff you could maybe we can work on that in the future for some more advanced models and stuff this would uh, allow you to have supports and stuff like that it might give a little bit of dimension in the interior as well which will be a nice little addition in the future maybe but um, the last thing that I needed to do is just fill in the corners with structure voids and um, I'm almost wondering if rice isn't growing so I did fill in a couple plots here with rice um, well I needed to get the water in first so I needed to go back and uh, grab a water bucket wherever they put that now Minecraft's changing everything and like every time that they come out with an update I'm just like oh what are they gonna break this time and you know, latest thing that they've done is like reorganize the entire creative tab which is annoying because now I don't know where everything is and it's like can't you just leave it or you know like people have made good points you know why can't we just create our own tabs and you just keep everything the same you know so we could find everything like that would make sense and I think Jerocraft actually came out with a video on that and it, it's a brilliant idea I don't know why it isn't a thing uh, we do have that little um, tab for adding your own items and stuff like that but it's it's not like creating your own creative tab uh, for saves and stuff like that it would be really handy for builders and stuff like that but I don't know Mojang's Mojang they do weird things um, outside of that, this house turned out really good. We even have a little uh, chair and uh, table on the deck there. So I'm happy with the roof design and a few other things. We'll probably uh, work on another structure or I'll work on a few more structures off camera and then we'll work on some other things in next episode just to keep things a little bit different each time. So, But I thought I would build some stuff and show you what I've been working on. So um hopefully next episode i'll be able to show you the cliff design uh that i worked out through features it took me a long time to do but outside of that if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out